guys, what's good? Rising Phoenix One. And yeah, we have a Sunday content drop. And I think it's a pretty good one. Um, so it's not these cards. These are the cards you put in sets so you can claim one of these here. So first of all, we got some clarity on the boost system from Casey Wynn on his live stream reveal on YouTube. If you don't know who Casey is, he's a NBA Live mobile game changer and his YouTube channel is Casey Win 66 That's the letters K, C, and then W-I-N-N-66, all one word. If you are not subscribed to his channel, what are you thinking about? You must not like giveaways um, because whenever he goes live, he has great giveaways and whatever the giveaway is you always have the option of defaulting to a boost item like you know like the strategic metal that's how i got mine it, his live stream popped up on my recommended on youtube i knew who he was from the discord and i went in what you know i just oh he's playing some gameplay let's watch i was chatting a little bit in the chat next thing i know there's a giveaway boom i won and i ended up getting the strategic metal and, I also, and also an 88 of my choosing. So that was pretty cool, you know, swag from EA, courtesy of Casey Wynn. So you, you should be subscribed if you're not. All right, let's talk about these cards here. So the clarity we got on the boost system as it applies to boosts on player cards is that the way it was intended to be was that gold boosts give plus two to position Elite boosts, that's the red symbol, gives plus four to position. Ultra, which is the blue, we used to call that before season four platinum. Don't know why they changed it. They did, now it's ultra. Ultra means plus two boost to team and plus two boost to team is huge right now. Um, and then the next bump up will be Royal. That will probably be a purple symbol and that will be a plus four boost the team so that's what i expect you know we will see going forward that's certainly what we have here so let's uh, talk about some of these cards uh daryl griffith dr duncanstein he's got a uh, plus two high flyer to team that's plus 20. so if he's sitting on the bench he's given plus 200 to team right um that's crazy and that's really good if he's on if he's starting, he's only giving the boost to the five starting players. So that's a plus 100 boost to team, um, but just plus 20 per, per player card. Then we've got Ray for Alston. Skip to Malou. I never realized that was his nickname, but he's got Jim Rat. So that's plus 18. That's two team. That's a big deal as well. None of these cards themselves look you know, particularly great with one exception. I mean, Daryl Griffith, I mean, he wasn't a three-point shooter. They called him Dr. Duncan Stein for a reason. Um, then we get to Hakeem Olajuwon, and he has a plus two dead eye to team, so that's plus 10. And, you know, I don't know what it is. Ever since season four, when it comes to Hakeem cards, they just do him really dirty on rebounding every Hakeem card we've had, but his AI plays like he has high rebounding stat. But I mean, you know, his, he's a 96 card, he's Hakeem Olajuwon, and he has an 88 primary rebounding stat. Block is 96, I guess that's all right. I mean, it probably should be a little bit higher. Um, I think, I think Hakeem is the all-time block leader, or at least in the top three. Now we get to James Worthy, Big Game James. I didn't know that was his nickname. And, you know, his rebounding looks really good for a small forward and for a 96 small forward. Obviously, his dunking looks good. Um, you know, his shooting, his mid-range is all right, but his three-point is not. James Worthy was not a three-point shooter, all right? His defense is okay. Um, yeah, so, I mean, pretty much all these cards are serviceable at best but none of them except with one exception do i look at and go ooh, 
So let's get to the exception, right? Spicy P, Pascal Siakam. He's giving, oh, 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 boost, boost. Worthy is giving uh, plus two bully ball, so that would be six attributes, so that's plus 12. Boost to team. And then Siakam is giving the Stonewall boost, which is supposed to be seven items, which would be plus 14. But one of those items is supposed to be blocking upper right-hand corner. And once again, blocks uh, have been left out of the Stonewall. So hopefully they will fix that. That happened on, on Eaton. It's on one of our courts or jerseys. I can't remember, but I, I did report that. He should be giving plus 14 boost. He's only giving plus 12, all right? But this is the card that I look at and go, okay, there's your power forward for your strategic lineup. As much as I like Cam Johnson, have to put, have to put Siakam in there. It's better to have Siakam on the bench um, because it's gonna give more boost to your lineup with him on the bench. So that's all of them. We're gonna start a showdown search here real quick. And then we're going to go back to the news feed. And hopefully we don't get a quick match, but yeah, we did. Daryl Dawkins is, is the dude who broke my heart. No, not that way. Get your mind out of the gutter. We're talking about basketball in 1980, and it was in the Final Four. And he was the star of Louisville. Um, Louisville was playing Iowa in the semifinal in the Final Four. Uh, I'm not saying where I went to college, but I still, to this day, bleed black and gold. So do the math, right? Um, Iowa had a uh, point guard by the name of Ronnie Lester, who was, to this day, the smoothest point guard I've ever watched in person. And I've seen, you know, I, I had season tickets with the Suns for about 14 years. So I've seen quite a few uh, pretty good point guards in person and, and magic even in college. So anyway, Ronnie Lester was amazing. I watched him two times neutralize uh, Magic Johnson for an entire game and outscore him. Um, so the way the, the game was going, Louisville versus Iowa, I think Ronnie Lester had like 10 of Iowa's first 12 points. And I'm pretty sure Dale Griffith scored like the first 13 points. So it was like 13 to 12. Ronnie Lester had a fast break. There was only one guy back. He pushed off with one leg. He felt it start to give a little bit to make matters worse. He got a shove in the back. He landed on it awkwardly and he totally blew out his knee. And that was 1980. Maybe that would be different you know, in, in 2021, it certainly would be different, but he was never the same again. He still got drafted, but you know, an all American became pretty much just a, a bench rider in the NBA. And of course, Louisville went on to beat Iowa and win the national championship. And that's how Daryl Griffith broke my heart. All right, we have a match. So let's go to it against the 99. We have time. That was a long story, man. All right. You came here for gameplay and I'm giving you war stories. Go to a different channel. <laughs> we talk. We talk on this channel, right? All right. I'm not really expecting anything particularly great out of these cards um, as starters. So let's see how Alston can do. No problem over top of, who was their point guard? Nash. Wow, there's Hakeem. Making me look like a liar, right? Getting a rebound. Daryl Griffith. USOBU. <laughs> I, I don't want you to think I'm bitter or anything. <laughs> Thank goodness, who was that, Yao? Was like, it looked like he was bending over greeting him rather than defending him. I'm not sure what that was all about. Ugh. 
he's wide open. So we're getting super, super lucky here. They're just missing their shots. Daryl Griffith over Booker. That was a perfect shot. And so 12 to nothing. This was not my expectation, right? Come on. Oh, look at that. That's Daryl Griffith. That's why they call him Dr. Duncanstein. He just flew through the air. Um, he was amazing. All right, let's go back to Alston. This seems to be working up here, so why go anywhere else? That's what I get for opening my big mouth. Jinxed it. Come on, sweet Lou. Seventeen to nothing. What on earth is going on? Maybe I should use this lineup in leagues. Don't ask. Don't ask. I'm not telling. It was not good. Not in time. Wouldn't have counted. Um, shut out. Seventeen to nothing. So much for my prediction that these cards can't play. Um, however, it's always a function of what the game algorithms decide you're going to be able to do. So, I mean, it's not like we were, you know, getting steals and blocking shots, right? So, all right. Anyway, it's a good result, and I'll take a shutout every day of the week. It's a really rare thing in Showdown these days. So, that was cool. All right, so I'll take our showdown token and let's go to our team here. And so that's what this looks like. Here's what the boost to team looks like. Pretty good, right? Pretty good for a mixed lineup. Speaking of mixed lineups, we can do something else now because we have options. I'm trying to remember. All right, so I think I wanna put Alston down there. I certainly wanna put Ginobili up here. Keep Carter down there. Probably LeBron is gonna be necessary, but we'll see. And then I might be able to keep Bird there. I'm going to swap Zion and Siakam to get the most boost out of Siakam. And then let's do this. So there is a 103 mixed lineup. Um, I'm very, very surprised. And that's even with Bird down there. And our boosts, you know, are not terrible at all. We, yeah, that's the best we're gonna be able to do. I don't think it'll let us put this rebound, rebounding uh, court in. Yeah, so we can maintain some rebounds do some of that or I can put worthy in uh, where'd he go for some of his bully ball boost since we don't have any of that to team and then it looks like that so not too shabby right um, this is the lineup I used in leagues and it was a nightmare so we won't do that again but check this out 
this is what these these uh, boosted teams, even if they're plus two boosted team, can do to your lineups. That's a 104 strategic lineup with 93 magic in their starting, my new AI lineup. This is a 104 strategic manual. Looking pretty good. All right, um, we've got our power lineup finally up to a 102, thanks to the extra boost from Daryl Griffith. Do I still will? I will never forgive you, Daryl. I don't care if you made every shot you just took in our gameplay. Um, and then finesse. I believe I can get this finesse lineup up to a 104 as well but I'm just not there yet. I haven't really spent much time with it. Um, small forward might be, well, not might be. Small forward is the weak spot on this finesse lineup. So there is that. But yeah, I mean, lots more options with these cards. Here's the cards. The way you get them without spending money is in the achievements, drop down, nicknames, and there's all kinds of things you can do for achievements. The way you get tokens, five tokens gives you a choice. And then there are, you know, sets and stuff, uh, packs or whatever in the store where you can get these cards. You only get to claim this one once from the, the, the free daily claim one. I actually pulled this 94 Hakeem, which is the hardest one to get because it's the highest OVR card. And then if you get doubles, you can turn them into tokens. So yeah, certainly one of these, at least free to play is a reasonable expectation. I think one's probably it without spending any, any money or NBA cash um, on this. So yeah, that's, that's it. This is, you know, why is this a big deal? Um, well, you know, we just have to go back to our lineups, right? Look what having Siakam and Worthy does. You know, it takes us to a 104. How'd you like to play against that? Um, and we still, now we have a manual 104 that I wish I had played with. Uh, we've got a mixed 103. And I can put magic in there. And then I need to make up for that with Ginobili to go back up to a 103. So yeah, there are definitely advantages to having these cards. The biggest advantage to them is on the bench that's why these cards are so important much more important than anything we're, we're getting in this finals promo so far um, other than perhaps if there's a surprise grandmaster that gets revealed if you claim four i, I doubt there will be i i assume that the quote grandmaster will be the finals mvp and perhaps you will get a token if you claim all four cards or maybe three of the masters, I don't know. I'm not there yet. So, all right, guys, that's it. Good luck with this stuff. Good luck with this jazz. And remember, peace out.